Hi, I'm Andrea from Metro Detroit Dual Services. In this video, we're going to talk about everything the cervix does when you're preparing and when you're in labor. The cervix has four tasks. It softens and ripens, it thins, it dilates, and it moves position. So, what does that mean? Sometimes we get so focused on dilation, everyone talks about Oh, I was checked today, this is my dilation. Oh my gosh, your cervix is doing so much. <laughs> so first of all, let's talk about softening. Your cervix is going to start out very firm. Touch your nose, that's how firm your cervix is feeling. All right, it's protecting baby in the womb from all of the outside world. It's pretty magnificent, magnificent. It's pretty awesome. Um, and then it's going to get soft. It's going to get so soft, they say, like as soft as your squishy earlobe or softer. So think about all that work it has to do from being so firm and keeping baby in and safe to so soft and squishy and movable. That's kind of a big job. Your cervix is also going to thin. It's going to start out pretty thick and then it's going to keep getting thinner and thinner and thinner. And that's when they say 100% of the face is when it's completely thinned out. So if you hear faced, that means thinning, how your cervix is doing. And then there's the big dilation. This is what I feel like everybody talks about. And you, yes, you go from completely shut to 10 centimeters. So in through labor, what that looks like, zero to three centimeters is sometimes early labor. Then from four to six, six or seven is um, active labor, and then eight to 10 is transitional labor, and then you're pushing. Um, but what does that look like? Sometimes we're so used to inches, right? The rest of the world uses centimeters, but here in the United States, we keep using inches. So to give you a visual, to be fully dilated, 10 centimeters is, Like the, di like the diameter of the spine ample. That's fully dilated. Ready to birth, ya yeah, baby. So you can keep that in mind when you're hearing it. So your cervix is doing a big job dilating that wide so the head can get out. So we talked about ripening or softening. We talked about thinning or effacement. And we talked about dilation. And then there's another thing that I feel like almost no one knows about or talks about and it's actually the position of the cervix. The cervix faces your tailbone while you're pregnant. Faces posterior back there. And then it's going to move forward. So as your cervix is softening and thinning, your cervix will actually start to begin to move forward. And then when it's at the 10, it'll be facing completely forward and baby will be ready to come out that way. So if you think about it, Let's not get hung up on any one thing. There's so much progress your cervix is doing, and there's so much work it's doing to, to bring baby out of, of the uterus. So, what were those four things again? We said ripening and softening. So it's gonna go from firm, like touching your nose, to soft and mushy like your earlobe. Then we have thinning, so also effacement. And that can improve, and sometimes we, Especially if our dilation isn't moving super fast, sometimes we can get bummed, but if you're thinning, thinning can be hard. Imagine being super thick, a, a super thick protective, you know, structure, tissue, and then it's going to thin and get nice and thin and, and easily move away. And then there's dilation, which is also a lot of work, and then the position. So all four of those things in conjunction will help uh, well, will cause baby to be born. So let's give our cervix a round of applause. It's doing a lot. A lot of the stuff it does doesn't get talked about often. So keep those in mind. And thank you cervix for all the work you do to bring babies into the world. Thanks for watching. See you later.